Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Justina, and it's been a while since I've recorded something and put it out there. So I'm so happy to be recording this morning, and I hope that you guys like this look, and if you do, then continue watching. So I know that I've been really MIA, and it feels weird to even record, and it's so early. I have to say that like a lot has been going on, so I haven't filmed in a while. And it's even so weird, I'm up early, it's like 10 a.m. and that's early for me, don't judge me. So I'm going in with this Natasha Denona palette, this is the Mini Sunset palette. So there's five shades in here, there's three shimmers and two mattes. I'm only using the mattes today. So I'm going to go in with this Morphe R37 brush, and I'm going to take this shade right here, it's called Halo. And I'm just going to put this all over the lid as a transition shade. got really scared real quick and I thought that I did it over this eye. So I'm taking that shade Halo on my Morphe R37 brush and I'm just going to brush this shade all over the lid and throughout the crease and I'm just going to blow this shade out so it's our first shade that we have laid down. So I'm going to take this Morphe brush right here, this being the M433 brush, I'm going to take a little, tap off the excess. And with this shade, I just want to go into the corner of our crease area. So when blending this brown shade, I'm just keeping it on the outer V of the eye. And when I say outer V, it's like, so we're going upward with a slant, and then we're going to follow that towards the lash line and down. So this just being the outer V of our eye. So I'm going to take this Morphe R37 brush and go back into that light orange color halo, tap off the excess, then just go back over the front half of the lid, just reinforcing that color. You just want to blend the two shades together as well. So I'm going to take a makeup wipe and I am just going to clean the bottom. I have a habit of cleaning up too high and then I regret it because all that work is gone. So just be careful when taking the makeup wipe and just go little by little when cleaning up. For mascara, I've been trying this little mini Too Faced mascara. I actually forget what it's called. I think it's Damn Girl Mascara. And I usually use their Too Faced Mascara, which I think I like more. But since I got this to try out, I've just been using it lately. But I do think that the brush, as you can see, is very thick. So that's always kind of hard. And I'm messy, so it's not always great for me. It doesn't always work out. So I try to be very careful when using this. I have to say that it definitely gives your lash volume, but I also feel like it can make it clumpy and it doesn't really lengthen. So I'm thinking that Too Faced Better Than Sex is better than this. So it's been a while. I was using the Tarte primer a lot, and this is the Smashbox primer. This is the blur primer that I love so much. And it really just blurs all your pores out, but it's also really soft, I have to say. Like the Tarte one that I was using, I just felt like it would rub off and then there would be particles and sometimes it would ball up and it would fall. But this literally melts into the skin like butter, so I really have loved using that again. So next order of business, foundation. This is the Milani foundation. So I believe it says two in one. It's a perfect foundation and concealer. I only use this as foundation. This shade is a little bit dark just because I'm used to getting this dark for summer and I haven't received all that sun yet. So I'm just gonna put a pump of that on the back of my hand as well as some MAC strobe cream and once I have those two together, I'm just going to take a brush and mix it together. Then once I have it mixed, I'm just going to apply it on my face. I know that's not attractive. So I'm going to take my Morphe Beauty Sponge and I'm just going to pounce this into my face. And I love through audio how you can hear that I'm beating the shit out of my face every time. But I just want to make sure that the product is definitely in there. And because it's summer, we want no creasing. We don't want any parts coming apart. I love how full coverage this is. 
and with that strobe cream the luminosity that it gives and you can tell that this is full coverage just because it hid my blemishes so next for concealer i'm going to be taking this joey concealer honestly compliments to the chef it is one of my favorites it has replaced that um what did people use before the tarte shape tape yeah that's really drying for me and this is just so moisturizing and it just covers so much which you don't need that much just because that milani foundation is very full coverage so i'm just going to put some here down the center of my nose and then I like to go around the lips. I don't know why, but I kind of get like gray there. So this is what I look like, except me. So we're just gonna pounce this out now. So I'm gonna go in with this Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Setting Powder. This is in the shade two. As you can see, it's well-loved. It's literally my favorite powder. Like you just look airbrushed. So I want to make sure I had no creasing under my eye. And then I go right underneath with this. Guys, do you see that? It took away the glossiness. So if you like that, I get it. I'm sorry. You can just sweep under the eye and that's it. But do you see how refined I look? How matte it looks? I love this powder so much. I have this Matte Give Me Sun Bronzer. And I'm just taking this BH114 brush. Tap off the excess. And then I just follow my cheekbones and I tap this product into the skin. So I just try to push in before I do swipe. I take this all over my forehead and bronzer is just bringing back the color into our skin because we were looking pretty flat with the foundation and concealer. But when we place this on, we're just adding another dimension to our face. I try not to give myself a bronzer helmet, which is just like swiping this way and swiping this way and then just literal line. I try to round it out, but I've stated like, I just stopped filming because like there's no background or I have to get different color backgrounds or I don't have my nails done or I don't have my eyebrows done or maybe I got a pimple and I'm just feeling inadequate. And then I have to remind myself that not everyone is perfect. Even the people that are watching me, I don't want to create a standard in which you feel like you have to live that I can't even live up to. So I try to tell myself just to relax and film. Do what you love. Some people want to watch. Some people are here to support you. So do it. I'm going to take this BH110 brush and I just contour my nose. What I do is I try to like create a line but I don't want to swipe down so I'm just patting this onto the nose just like I did with the bronzer on our cheekbones I'm just patting this into the skin I noticed that when I swipe my concealer or my foundation can come off and it's so hard to get that looking seamless and back on once you've done it it disturbs me that you can like see these pimple areas. I'm gonna see if I can. I feel like this is a good alternative as well. I was using that Charlotte Tilbury Magic Flawless Powder. This is the Better Skin Skin Powder and honestly so good. It kind of I kind of like the gloss on the lips. I did a nude lip yesterday, but remember, this is the morning, so <laughs> literally right now, 10.58, so and I have to go to work. I don't want to look like I just came from work, if you know what I mean. So I think we're going to leave the lip gloss as is. Guys, stop judging me and... Let's add bottom mascara. It's so crazy. I feel weird that the look is complete. You guys know. If you know, you know. This is my favorite spray. Honestly. And it's I think it's like $16. But like, it's refreshing. It makes your makeup look like skin again. And just the spray on it, you'll see. 
The mist is so good and it's so refreshing. Love it. Oh, do you see my skin too? Mm, mm, mm. So guys, I know that I've probably been like on the left the whole time and not even in the center. But like I was saying, I'm trying to let go and just record and do what I love and be more interactive and just show you bits and pieces of my makeup routine. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you did enjoy this. And I'll see you in the next video, which I hope that I upload soon. So don't count on it, but I'm trying. So we'll see what happens. Love you guys.